chapter four. Yes, chapter four. I awoke with my eyes fixed on the ceiling wallpaper. A sense. Wait. You've read who this. Who puts wallpaper on the ceiling? Maybe you woke up on the side and were looking at the wall. <laughs> but seriously, what? Wallpaper on the ceiling? Okay. Oh, no, I don't think that's what. Ow. Ow. Oh, my breathing hurts. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. I've got something for you. An envelope from the facility? Oh, these are the results from the test that I ran on my blood. These are the things we need for Price's good ending. Let's see. Remarkable similarities in genetic makeup, particularly the brain structure. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I suppose this isn't the only reason you're here. And now it's stuff we've already seen. We don't want to talk to Maverick, then, about the blood results, because then we won't get the bad ending. Okay. Nope. Don't. Don't. Wait. Save here. Yep. Then. Okay. Don't I'm just fiddling with the audio bits, because sometimes it seems a bit weird. Okay, don't say anything. He was just staring at his back for a long amount of time. He's like, why are you staring at my back, dude? Wait. We didn't go with them? Nope. I spent some time... This is probably the time when you pick up the blueprints for Aideen, right? No, because we went to the archives to pick those up. Oh, well. Normally we go with them. Oh, well then. I spent some time looking around Bryce's office, studying all the material he had gathered about the case, but there wasn't any information that I didn't already know. After a few hours, the telephone in his office rang. I'm not sure whether the call was intended for me or Bryce, I picked up. Wait. George! Honey! Yes? I think you need to come here. I'll give you the directions. No problem. You know, I really want to see what happens if we let him go first. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, well, whatever. There you are. So, what happened? A lot of nothing. There was no movement to or from the building in the time we've been watching. He, he, he usually... We've seen all this. Yeah, we've seen all of this. Skip it. Get the mouse out of the screen. Get the mouse out of the screen. Do you really want to see him, D? No, let's just let's just get this out of the way, man. All right, let's go. Ah! Okay, right. Um, we've not done this before. Don't. Yeah, take the PDA. Save, save, save. Well, we saved it the blood thing, so it doesn't matter much, this does it? This is an ending! Yeah, but we saved the decision bit. Alright, fine. Doesn't look like Remy is here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to voice him. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what voice. Well, he has whiskers, so I'd presume... Excuse me. That colour scheme is so weird. Go! Can I help you? Do you know what the audio section is? I am looking for some shit music. Sorry, I, I have no idea. I don't I even can't work do here. Japanese. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. This this stuff is all seem to be hiding somewhere. Yeah, they play hide and seek a lot. It's kind of annoying. It's like IKEA, but the staff do it. You're what not if, allowed to hide and see. What if you just? What if? What if? What if IKEA was just 
instead of having to pick out the furniture you want, you have to find where the staff is. <laughs> <laughs> you just go to like, right. They should do fucking activity days in Ikea. That would make more people go. That'd be fun. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. You, you too. You too. You too. Maybe Remy is somewhere in the back or in his office. No. Why does he all that doesn't normally do us for us? Carry on. Hello. <gasps> you know this section is usually for staff only. I'm just looking for Remy. I was supposed to drop off his PDA. Well, he's not working today. Apparently he has other engagements. Does she normally have, like, fucking eyeliner that black? I have no idea, but carry on. If you need to find him, you could probably do so at his home. Can I just leave PDA here? Oh, well, I'm not going to take responsibility for this if it gets lost. If you want to drop it off, go find him. Okay. By the way, I hope you do not take it personally that I tried to send you away. To be honest, I'm glad that you're still here. Remember, I said that I believed you when you told me your side of the story. I always have to do what is in the public's best interest. And now that, and now they will not blame me if you have any connection with Reza. I hope you can understand that. Here is Remy's address in case you need it. Thank you. You don't. But okay. Are those parcels? Or cushions? They're pillows. Cushions. They're pretty fucking square for oh. cushions. What? What? Doesn't matter. Oh, hello, Hardy. What are you doing here? I came by to give you this. I was already at the library, but Emma refused to let me drop it off there. I see. Hey, it's one of your PDAs. I told you you would find it. Wait. To be event, it would find. I told you what would find its way to be eventually. Yep. Now you can look at all the human knowledge you want, and uh, the porn. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to that. I may not be working today, but I'm still going to check it out as soon as possible. I'm just gonna leave you to it, Ben. Thanks. Enjoy. Okay. I didn't end how I thought it would. So, I think we might have to redo his um his third date. By the way. Yeah, we did that for Dean as well. Hmm. We'll just carry on with Bryce. We'll focus on Bryce. Yes. So rest in your so, apartment. Yes, we don't need to do anything else. Mm -hmm. The sound has gone again. Up with that. I don't know why. It... It... <sighs> it's because it doesn't have any support. Just put something under it. Put your shirt under it. That won't be enough. Yeah, my uh, my old dog's plush toy. You I don't have nothing. That won't be nudged at all. Okay, carry on. Rest in your apartment, bitch! Um. <laughs> no sound! I'm just... There. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good! I decided to take a long break in my apartment. I'd already done enough of it. There, 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 there. Boring shit. Yes, 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 we've seen this monologue, all before. Monologue, monologue, monologue! Oh, seems I've got some messages. Let's see. Hello, this is Remy. I just wanted to remind you about the Summer Festival. It will start any day now, so I hope you can make it. It would be nice to go there with you. I'm not sure how you feel about this, but I usually try to avoid the crowds. <laughs> so we're in the same place again. In any case, please let me know if you want to go. Summer festival, huh? Hey, honey, wanna meet up and go somewhere? Just the two of us? 
want to get out of this of my crummy temporary apartment. I'm sure we could think of something fun. Nah. Is he thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> You're popular. <laughs> Bryce! Save. Meet with Bryce. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must be him. Hey, honey. Hey, Bryce. I know you said you wanted to get out of that small apartment of yours, but I'm not sure if mine is much different. Well, I figured yours couldn't be any worse than mine. And now that I'm seeing it from the inside, I have to say the council didn't do a bad job with all of it. I assume it's appropriate to someone with my status. Looking at the ending picture. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> well, that's the chief of police has to make do with whatever he can get. That's the exact couch. <laughs> I know. You said it was only temporary. It is, but I'm really getting sick of it, to be honest. I can imagine. Anyways. What's the plan? Plan? We gotta do something, right? Hey, you want some entertainment? I could offer you a, um... Uh, a bookshelf full of it. Here. Sheridan and the Scepter of Sovereignty. Should be enough to last you a while. No thanks. I have enough fibre in my diet already. I suppose you're not a fan of reading, then. Why would I visit you just to read some crummy book? And besides, I do read from time to time. What do you read? Science, menus, magazines. I don't think that counts. Let me take a look around your apartment then. Feel free. Oh, I'm not sure if there's anything special about it. Oh, except for that back cave entrance. Alfred! Alfred, it's Horny, I told you not to mention that! Alfred! No one's supposed to know! You'll have to be my next Robin! That's how they initiate them if they find the back cave. Okay, carry on. I watched with amusement as Bryce headed for the kitchen. I'm gonna have all your so, food! that's what you're really looking for. Guess what? I thought I've had, had, I found something! You show me one of the cheap bottles of wine that's <laughs> been in the cupboard since I arrived. Why don't you rave a fridge while you're at it? No thanks, this will do for now. Ah, I get it. You wanna play spin the bottle? Yeah, we got... What? You're not teenagers! <laughs> what? Nobody plays spin the bottle! You're a tough guy, chief of police! You don't play spin the bottle! <laughs> Why are you getting angry over this? Because it's that is so stupid! This is what teenage girls play! And Maybe he is a teenage girl. And the boyfriends who just want some of that putang! Poong Tang. Poong Tang, yes. So, we just got empty out first. Here, 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 here. I assume you don't mean emptying it into the sink. Of course not. That'd be a terrible waste. Terrible waste of the second cheapest wine from the store. Don't know how you humans are with stuff like that, but here we don't throw away perfectly good things. I'm not sure this wine would qualify as perfectly good. Well, at least it's not the absolute bottom of the barrel. Now, are you going to help me with this or not? <laughs> Does it say anything? Sure! No. Sure. Alright, let's make it one glass for you and the rest for me. You think that's fair? If I had to guess, I'd say I weigh five to ten times as much as you do. So this is as fair as it gets. If you say so. I opened the kitchen cabinet to find an appropriate vessel for Bryce, but when I turned I'm around, send him to <laughs> space. When I turned around to ask him about it, he had already opened a bottle and was suckling on it like a baby. <laughs> I want to see that. Someone draw that, but not in a sexual way, in a I, cute I way. I suppose that means I won't have to do any dishes. How does it taste? Like wine, I guess. Cheap wine. Besides, I thought you were more of a beer person. I take what I can get, I'm an alcoholic after all. Just a few minutes later, the bottle had been emptied completely. 
I'm not sure if drinking like a dragon is a phrase, but if it isn't, it should be. And everyone can drink like me. I see. And now we can finally play a spin the bottle. Don't we need more people for that? Damn you right. Now I drank all this for nothing. Somehow I think this whole spin the bottle thing was just an excuse so you could drink the wine. What? I would never do such a thing. Of course not. Of course not. Well, we could still play it with just the two of us. At that point, we wouldn't even need the bottle anymore. Come here, where's your sense of funness? Is that even a word? We're here to relax. You should lighten up a bit. It's a bit hard to lighten up when, ever, given everything that's been happening here, if anything is worse for now than it's ever been. Reza's action of frezzing. Dude, <laughs> shut up about Reza. Reza's actions of threatening our agreement. For some dickage. And with it, the survival Not of everyone I know Reza. back home. Leave that at college! But what really takes the cake is that he may have it out for me because I'm helping all of you. Uh, yeah, Bryce knows what's up. You want to have this conversation right now? All right, let's have it. Let's let it all out. Yeah, why don't we talk about Maverick? He may have it out for me because he thinks I'm working for with Reza. Me? I'm just here, right in the middle of this whole mess. Just trying to make the best of it. You know, you're only involved in the investigation because we needed your help, right? I know, and I'm doing what I can, but that doesn't mean it's making the situation any easier. You think I don't know that? Me, the one responsible for every action our police has taken in this matter. If you don't want to go ahead and bl if you want to go ahead and blame someone, just blame me. I can take it. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying this whole situation is something I'm not very comfortable with. Whose responsibility is that, huh? However you look at it, it's me. I was the one who didn't listen to Maverick back when he had his suspicions about Reza, and we had. If we had acted then, this whole thing might not have spiralled out of control like it did. And despite what you might think of him, he was one who found Reza's hideout, even after I forced him into sick leave. We were practically at Reza's front door, and he still got away somehow. If I had done something different, we might have caught him. Let this be my official apology to you. I apologise for anything I might have... <laughs> The accent's going. Might have done to wrong you. I'm sorry for putting you through all this and having to involve you in our work while trying to fix this whole mess. Because in the end, this is all my responsibility. You don't need to apologize for anything. This is his apartment, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He held the empty bottle against the wall on the other side of the room where it shattered into pieces. Whoa! Then why do you want... Then what do you want me to do, huh? Look, you can see both his eyes. I don't know. This music doesn't fit. Do you think it's easy for me, seeing how many people die on my watch? Do you think I don't keep asking myself the same question? What I could have done differently, and if that would have made a difference? You think as chief I'd be used to it by now, but I'm not. How could someone ever get used to this? It's my duty, you know. But I can't save them all, never could. And you know what happened out on patrol today? We found a dead child on, and her mother in their home on the outskirts of town. Mother died from some sort of illness, and after that the daughter never left her side again. As if she had just given up on life. What does it have to do with anything? Dude, you know exactly what that has to do with everything. I'm forgetting. Who was picking up a prescription for their mother who was sick? Vara, the pink oh, dragon girl. Oh, she's dead. She died. Okay. You try and think about 
think how you might explain something like that to the relatives. But I guess in this case we got lucky, because the father was the, one of Reza's earlier victims. You've been the, to more than enough crime scenes by now. How have you remained so calm? Do all those who have died not matter to you? I'm sorry for making you look like look at a corpse on your very first day here, but you, you know I had to. Your help here has been invaluable, and it's not like I could ask anyone else. It's the same for me, really. Sure, they could ask someone else to be... Why have I gone Welsh? Ask someone else to be... Else to be chief. But if I'm the one who's been best suited for the job, who am I to reject that? Otherwise, I'd have to blame myself for every mistake the other chief made. Is that why you drink? Might come as a surprise, but... Actually, the alcoholic police chief used to be a huge stereotype in our world. Did it? I can't actually think of it being a huge stereotype. No, I can't think of much either. If anybody can give examples, that'd be good. Really? You wouldn't believe it. Actually, I do. The research about alcoholism in the police form first is out there, but in general, populace doesn't know about it. It's all just internal documents. Why don't people know? They don't want to know about unhappy things like that. Besides, they trust their chief, and they know about it. Maybe they'd start to have their doubts. I thought it was common knowledge that you visit the bar fairly often. Often enough that you're friends with the bartender. I don't know. Maybe they don't realise how it affects me. They seem someone who can drink a lot and does it for fun. They don't realise what it means. What are the stereotypes about the police are, in, are there in your world? That's the biggest one. No, it isn't. What is it? What is a police stereotype? Uh, the no-nonsense chief. Other than, and the racial ones. And the racial ones. Mm. But that's less so of a, uh, I don't know. Well, it still happens, but. Yeah. And then it's taken out of proportion, especially when, um. What are you messing with? A bottle under my desk. I say, well, alcoholism and suicide both are huge problems in law enforcement. Suicide? Yeah, if you have to deal with the things we do on a daily basis can affect you in pretty bad ways. Everyone has their breaking point. We all just cope in our own different ways. Some do it better than others. That's why I'm worried about Maverick right now. And why I wish you'd known him as long as I have. You think he's at his breaking point? He's taking this whole Reza situation very personally. I'm just worried about him, you know? Just like I'm worried about everything else until we can sort out this old mess. It's personal for me, too. No matter what you may think about Maverick or what he may think of you, he still found Reza's hideout, which led us to the generators. I guess you've both helped a lot in this investigation. My point with this is... is... We were all a very tight-knit group at the police station. Me, Sebastian, Maverick, Naomi. The bond we form on this job is how we know and look out for each other. I can tell you there's nothing else quite like it. Hmm. What do you think? How many more have to die to stop Rizzo? If anything, he's more dangerous now than he's ever been before. You know how much depends on... How this all turns out. Whatever happens, I'm just glad to have known you. Remember when I told you about the wooden models I'm making? I never told anyone else about that. And as much as I like everyone at the department, it's just not something I can talk about them with about with them. You saw us at the barbecue, I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry about the bottle, by the way, I'll clean it up, but don't worry about it. It was empty anyway. Just sees a giant wine stain on the wall. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Hey, that's the horny owl. <laughs> you sure we you don't called, like the horny horny? We, we called him horny. <laughs> oh, you won't believe what happened with Emma at work. What did? I uh, heeded your advice and told her the truth. Details, Bryce. Tell me everything. Well, the day before yesterday, she tried her thing again. Complained about her back pain to get a massage and asked me if I didn't if I didn't want to settle down eventually. At some point, I had enough and just told her outright that I'm not interested in her. For your own sake, I hope you weren't too harsh. Hey, you said I should tell her the truth, so I did. What'd you say? That I just noticed her clear attempts at wooing me. A wooing? And that's not... I'm not interested, that's all. And Woo! how did she react? Woo! Me! I'm going to send you a clip that's perfect for what Emma was doing, okay? Okay. Woo! Me! What, yeah? Woo! Me! Oh. <laughs> all right. Just once. Woo! 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 Woo, woo, woo! Not much. She just looked at me and said... Oh, I see. That's all? Yeah, and she stopped with the comments after that. Yes, that's not so bad, then. Well, not really. Now she's having me do all kinds of stupid things, like guard the outside of her office door for hours on end. Maybe she's still worried about Reza. The building has its own security, so it's pretty, pretty clear that she's just doing it to get back at me for rejecting her. She's really good at hiding it, though. I've never been able to prove it. You won't have to be with her for much longer. Yeah, but I guess she'll just keep wasting my time until it's over. At least you try to do the right thing. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yes, go ahead. If I told you that I'm a time traveller from the future, what would you say? <laughs> time travel? Isn't that something that just happens in bad science fiction novels? Hey! Why are only bad science fiction novels in Back particular? Back to the future! Don't you think there could be a, a good book, one? whatever. Let's just sell science fiction novels. Because they're all bad. <laughs> uh, wow. Modern science fiction <laughs> shit. Yeah. Huge generalization aside, what if we are in a science fiction story and time travelers are real? <laughs> wow, breaking the fourth wall here. <laughs> I want to see proof of it first. That's not something you come across every day, after all. What if I confided it to you as a friend? So you'll have to show me some proof, or else I'd call you out on a joke. What if I was... serious? Well, that's pretty far out. Far out, dude! Oh, that, that's the kind of thing someone would make up to scam people for their money. Or something like that. Alright, let's forget about time travels. What if I told you there was another human here besides Reza and me? Would this happen if, um... Would this conversation happen if... You didn't get any of the other endings and didn't know about this stuff? Well, no, because we got told about the time travel stuff. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. So it's getting kind of weird, Ernie. Just entertain me for this question. Well, unless you had some sort of proof, I'd call you crazy. As a member of law enforcement, aren't you supposed to follow up on every report? Yes, but that doesn't mean we have to believe everything. If there is no proof, we'll look for proof. If we don't find some, well, without any proof or leads to follow, there's nothing we can do anyway. I see. By the way, when you and Sebastian went to the farmhouse to go after Reza, you just left me alone with Maverick in the same room. I did? Yeah, I was worried there for a few seconds. Don't worry about him. You mentioned that you had a talk with him about a week ago, and that didn't end badly for you either. He might be scary, but I don't think you, you need to be afraid of him. He's got a very strong sense of justice, so he wouldn't do anything to you without a good reason. The question is whether you or I would find those reasons good too. Seriously, don't worry about him. Don't base your opinion on him solely on that incident at the portal. Do you really think he... Why do we keep talking about this? Can we just get to fucking? Wait. Ew. Be careful what you wish for. I don't want this. 
No! Okay. Do you really think he was wrong to suspect to suspect Reza? At least uh, we should be playing um Mass Effect instead. We just get straight to the <laughs> Oh, when Reza went on to do that thing he's done. When we talked with Emra, she pointed out that incident could have caused this whole mess. No matter his reasons, do you really think you'd want to defend Reza's actions like that? I don't know. It sucks for everyone involved, so let's just focus on getting things done when on the job, and not let it consume us elsewhere. Maybe you're right. What's outside? Fireworks? Yeah, it must be the summer festival. You wanted to get out of your apartment and rather than go to the festival you came here? The festival isn't really anything special for me anymore. It's in one cinema, besides. It's usually more of a thing for families, really. I see. Are those the fireworks people keep talking about? No, they have a fireworks show every evening. Nobody really even cares about the first couple of days. It's only the last day when they bring out the big ones. I usually watch those. Oh, so if there's big explosions, then you care. Well, yeah. It is a big tradition here. Maybe even an ideological one. You know, everyone in the whole town united under the stars, watching the beautiful fireworks. It's a thing. People have been telling me for the last few days how I just have to see them. You know, you kind of owe it to us as an ambassador to take part in our cultural event like that. I'm going to go anyway, so you don't need to convince me. Wanna come with me? I know all the good viewing spots. Most of the popular ones are usually super crowded. We probably want to avoid those. So we put the exact same spot again. <laughs> I can't really promise anything right now, but I'll keep it in mind. Well, you got my number, so kill me maybe. So let me know as soon as you can. Kill me. Sure thing. You know, those fireworks are also often a couple thing. I'm not surprised. They can set the mood for a romantic evening. Well, they're, going, they're still going on outside right now. You saying you want to go outside and watch? No, I'm saying we could take this conversation elsewhere, namely the bedroom. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking He's fucking hell. forward. He just wants the fuck. Oh, the bedroom here is nothing special, I can assure you of that. Well, it's better than the one I have right now. How does he know that we're into that? I mean, I'm guessing the majority of people who play these are girls, so then they wouldn't be, you know, that. But I'm confused. <laughs> Why are they all so bisexual? They're so fucking gay. Anyway, you know, when you slept over last time and we shared the couch, I took it as a sign. Did that mean anything to you, or was it just two friends sharing a couch that was clearly too small for two people who just wanted to stay friends? It meant exactly what you thought it meant. Why don't you make this a little more romantic then? Share a glass of wine and see where the evening takes us. <laughs> I should have another bottle in the kitchen, I'll go fetch it. <laughs> Finally! Sure thing. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> now you've put your dick up female dragons, but now <laughs> now you're getting now the either dick up we're you. getting our insides torn apart by a big dragon cock, <laughs> or we're throwing a hot dog down a tunnel. <laughs> I went into the kitchen to fetch a bottle of wine and two appropriate vessels, wondering how Bryce would manage a wine glass. When I returned it from the kitchen, however, I was met with an unexpected sight. <laughs> I was trying to censor something, but where is there the censor? I know. Scream, reject, accept. Accept your fate with the dragon dong. He oh is my. totally not a submissive. <laughs> he is not. You're getting it up the ass, boy. Bryce sprang to his feet, a somewhat embarrassed look on his face. What is it? Oh no, that was fine. Don't stop. No, some, not something you've seen before, huh? 
Not like that. And then, especially with my kind, they are... Well, I can see what, what I mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> God. <laughs> we have Ew! suddenly turned very gay. This is... This is so gay. Do you want to stand there and keep staring? <laughs> Not really. I don't want to know what it is. No. I just want to go. I don't want to read. <laughs> then why don't you come a little bit closer? You're my kind of all man. All right. So big and so strong. Come a little bit closer. I'm all alone and the night is so long. Bam, 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 Another free bam, day. Bam, bam, Yay me. God, my fucking ass hurts. <laughs> 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 okay, well, we're gonna say there. Wait, 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 wait. Now what? Well, we're going to end this session here and start a new one, so. For Are the we? moment. Alright. Ta ta. Ta ta.